Alright, SAB Mustang 302. I'm going to show you some guns I have. One is an airsoft gun that I got at Walmart. And one is... Well, you'll get it when I show it to you. This is my M4 assault rifle. Okay? It has... It comes with magazine. It comes with a stock. It's kind of hard to get off. And it comes with a few other accessories, but I don't really like to use them because they kind of stink. And anyway, this is the detachable stock. There's a switch on it. Take it off. Right there, switch. Magazine. Holds 500 bullets. Or ammo, or BBs, or whatever the heck you want to call them. I just call them ammo most of the time. Talk it by pulling this back. Kind of hard to pull it back, but that means the the harder it is to cock it, the more powerful the gun is. Just remember that when you get a gun, it's hard to cock. Remember, once you get it cocked and you shoot somebody with it, they're going down. Okay, that was the M4. Now I'm going to show you a custom gun I made by myself. Nobody helping, all by myself. I'm creative. This is a grenade launcher. Okay? It has, it's basically, what I did to make it is, when one of my airsoft guns broke, it was my, one of my airsoft pistols that came with the M4. See? Um, and I got a, I cut off, and I got off the black part of the end part of a recon CS6, the black thing over the, um, that you put stocks on. And I kept the box thing on it, and I just took the cylinder. Okay? Okay, and you're going to need a spring. You're also going to need to drill a hole right through it. You're going to need something to stop it up. In this case, I'm using a small Phillips head screwdriver. And some ammo. I use secret nuts because they are very good ammunition for something like this. Well, how I made it is very good ammunition. Okay? We're gonna need to once you once you get this together, put the spring in, put the ammunition on the spring. We're gonna need to jam it down. I recommend using your thumb, mainly because it's your strongest finger, and use your strong arm. Because the higher intensity the spring, the harder it is to get it down. I tried using a high intensity spring. I'm not going to use it. Let's just put it that way. Okay. Once you get that done, it should look like this. Okay. Okay, if you want to see how this baby goes, let's do a firing. Hey guys, I'm outside. Let's do a firing test. Okay. In three, two, one. Let's go look, let's go to see where it went. Okay, well there's the spring. Also, the spring comes out too, just in case you wonder where the spring goes after you shoot it. Okay, what's some Dogs! The dogs are barking at me. Um, let's see. Where did it go? Ah, there it is. Right there. So, shot it from in my garage. That's about 20 feet. A good 20, 25 feet. Maximum distance, about 24 feet. Okay, well. This has been SAB Mustang 302 showing you what's up.